How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. I'm going to be doing yet another CSS battle in this video. And more specifically, I'm going to be working on number 16 because one of my subscribers asked if I could do this and um, he was having some troubles trying to get it 100% matched. So let's see if we can get this working. So let's just go ahead and try to work this out. So the first thing I'm going to do again is change the background color of my div. And I think I could probably do... Let's see how I could do this. I'm gonna try to make a circle in the center for this like darker circle. So I'm gonna make this div. I'm gonna give it the background color of this. And unfortunately it's not gonna show up, but I think what we can do as well is give it some border. So I can say border of 50 pixels solid and give it that color. Now at this point, I hope you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make this a circle. So I can say border radius 50%. And that looks a little big, so I'll say 50 and 50. And hopefully that works out. Now I want to kind of center this in the center of the page. So again, using Flexbox, I'm going to say display of flex on the body. I'm going to say justify content of center. And I'm going to say align items of center. And that should put us in a good position. Now if you notice here, our little yellow border is off. The center is good, but the yellow border is off by... I don't know, it looks like maybe 10 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is change the border to 45. That was not 45, that was 35. All right, so 45 looks like it's good. Um, now for the actual green eye shape, this looks like it's a square with some, maybe some type of border radius. I'm not too sure, so this might be hard to figure out. Uh, let's try to make another div. And I'm going to give it a class of I. Hopefully we can figure out how to do this. In fact, I'm going to move it to the left so that the Z indexing works correctly. This div I'll call center. Change that over here. So center is going to be styled here. And then I is going to be styled like this. So I'm wondering if we can use a box for this. So like if I just give it like a width of 300 pixels and a height of 300 pixels, of absolute and a background of a green. Let me give this one a position of absolute as well so it doesn't kind of overlap. All right, so that probably looks a little too big, except for it's almost close. So I'm wondering if I could do. I'm gonna have to think about this one for a second. I don't know if I can just do border radius. So I'm gonna say border top left radius of 100 pixels and see what happens. So I don't know if that's gonna give us what we want. You know, now that I look at this, I think maybe this might be a rotated. Let me say, I'm gonna try transform rotate of 45 degrees. And I'm gonna try some magic over here. Let's see if this is kind of on the right, the right path. So I'm going to say border top left radius and border bottom right. Now border top right. No, bottom right. I think we're onto something. So I basically took the square, I transformed it by rotating it. And let's see if we can kind of get it in a position that we want it. Um, I think the width and height's good but the radius might be too much. Ooh, it looks like 100 might work. I think we got it. I think we figured it out. So now we're just missing that little outline. I'm assuming I could probably use some type of like pseudo selector. So on center, I'm gonna give an after and I'm gonna say content of an empty string. Position of absolute. In fact, I'll just copy all this stuff. And we don't want to give it a border radius. I mean, a border. What am I doing? Get rid of the border. And then change the color of it. To that. And where is it? It's probably hidden. Let me give it a Z index of like one. Gone, y'all. We lost it. All 
I might have to give it a left and a, a top or something. I don't know. All right, this isn't working as I expected it to work. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'll just make another div and give it a class of like outer. And I want that to be above the eye. Well, I guess it would be above the eye. So I'm just gonna style that instead of doing the pseudo selector, which I'm sure there's a way to achieve it with the pseudo selector. I'm going to give it an outer. And for right now, let's just give this a display and none and change this to red. Okay, it's up the top left. That's why we couldn't find it. Um, but we don't want the eye to be gone, but we want this one to be display of none and see where it is. All right. So 200, 200, that's too much. 180, 180. That looks like it's pretty good. Let's make the eye pop back up and let's also give this instead of red. Let's make this look like that. Get rid of display none. And there you have it. Look how beautiful that thing is. So I guarantee you there's another way to do this. But let's just go ahead and submit and see. Um, it looks like it's 100%. So let's submit this. See what we get. And we got 100% match. So I'm happy with that. I hope you guys are happy with that too. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to do another CSS battle um, target, let me know. If this one I haven't done yet, I will do it for you all. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy coding.